I think that Wikipedia is one of the most useful websites in the world. However, there is one catch. You need to be connected to the internet to use it. Or do you? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can access all of Wikipedia without an internet connection. Let's jump in. Okay, I'm gonna put a link to this page in the video description below. It's under Wikipedia, under database download. And it's a how-to guide on how you can download the pages from Wikipedia. And the only problem with this is it is a massive website. And since I don't have an engineering degree or a computer science degree, this can be a little overwhelming for a normal human to try to digest all of this information. So what I would encourage you to do instead is go to this website called kiwix.org. And I'll put a link to this in the video description as well. And what you can do is you can download Kiwix. And there's a few different options here. You can download an app for Android, you can download a program for Windows, and you can even download apps for iOS and Mac OS and even some more. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna download it for Windows because I'm using an actual computer like a laptop. So I'm gonna click this download button and I'm gonna download a zip file. Okay, so you wanna find that zip file that you've just downloaded now. It's pretty big, it's 128 megabytes. And now I'm gonna double click that zip file and it's gonna open up a whole bunch of files here. And if you're not a computer nerd like I am, this might be a little overwhelming. You're like, what are all these things? What you wanna look for is just this one right here, this Kiwix desktop, it's an application. So you're gonna double click it. It's gonna ask you, hey, this is a zip folder. Do you wanna extract all the files? You'll say yes, so extract all. And it's going to ask you, where do you wanna put this? So you're gonna get this little pop-up and I'm gonna leave it to the default setting, which is C, Kiwix, Kiwix desktop settings. I'm gonna click extract. And you'll see now it's copying a whole bunch of items out of the zip folder into a new folder. And I've got a whole bunch of different files. What you wanna look for now is the Kiwix desktop application. It's right here. Okay, and you'll see this program now opens up called Kiwix and it's a pretty simple interface. There's a menu here on the left-hand side. There's a whole bunch of folders here in the middle and then there's some information on the right like date, size, and file type. And then there's a download link. So you're gonna see a whole bunch of things here that you can download, all these different download links. So I'm just gonna to go to the first one here, English. I'm gonna just click the little menu button here and it just extracts out. It says Q&A for linguists, entomologists, and serious English language enthusiasts. If you wanna download this, it's 686 megabytes. And that's one option, that's a piece inside of Wikipedia. Here's Wikiversity, for example. This one is mostly pictures and it's 2.31 gigabytes. There's another one here that is from Wikiversity. It's 1.85 gigabytes and the list goes on and on and on. So I'm gonna pick one here at random to show you what it looks like. So here I've clicked under military medicine, 77 megabytes. I've clicked the download button and you'll see now it's downloading on the right hand side. It shows you the speed it's downloading at and how big the download is so far. So right now it's 27 megabytes out of 77. So I'm about a third of the way through. Okay, and when it's all done, there's just a little open button here instead of a download button. So I'm gonna click open. And then from here, you'll see basically a website. It looks like a website, but I'm not actually connected to the internet. So it's pretty sparse in terms of the look. It's just a bunch of links and some text here. But what I could do is I could click on a link here, like for example, preventative medicine, and then it's gonna ask, what do you wanna do with this file? Do you wanna save it or do you wanna open it? I'm gonna click open and now I get to a pamphlet. So I can look through this unclassified military pamphlet about army use in medicine. This is not on the internet. This is on my hard drive. I've downloaded it and I'm accessing it as I would any other PDF file. Okay, so when you're all done here and you don't wanna look at military medicine anymore, you can close out this tab. There's a little tab here on the left with a little bird on it. So if I close out this military medicine tab, it's gonna take me to this little bird here and I can, I'm can i back to the main page. So you can close this out or you can just click on the other tab. I'm gonna close out military medicine and that brings me back here to the main page. In addition to Wikipedia articles, there's also TED Talk articles on here. So there's a whole bunch of TED Talks. These have videos and pictures as well. So the idea here is that you can go through and you can quickly download things if you're perhaps on an airplane or if you're in an area of the world that doesn't have access to the internet. You can download a whole bunch of different things now that you'll find useful. I hope you found this helpful. Here's another video on how you can level up your computer skills.